Welcome to Off The Record. I'm your host, Marika Day, dietitian, nutritionist, recovering perfectionist, and founder of Fueled by Marika Day. Join me here each week as we delve into what it really means to be a healthy and happy human. You'll hear from conversations with experts in their fields to raw and real chats about aspects of health and life that we really don't hear enough about. You'll be left feeling inspired, educated, and empowered to be the best version of you. So sit back, relax, or head on out for your walk, and let's dive on in. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Off The Record. I can't believe I'm actually recording this episode because it feels like it's been such a long time coming, developing the Fueled by Marika Day program and web app. So I am thrilled to be able to give you, I guess, a virtual walkthrough of the program and tell you a little bit about, you know, the why behind it, developing it, who it helps and what's included in it, most importantly, as well. Now, at the time of recording this podcast, I don't have an exact date of launch yet, and I'm going to tell you so much more about all of the behind the scenes of developing the app in another um, episode because, oh my God, that's been a whole nother like minefield for me. But when this podcast goes live, it is going to be imminent. So it will be within the days or even potentially the day after this podcast goes live. So that is incredibly exciting. If you are not on um, the email list yet, you can jump on to fueledbymarikaday.com and sign up. Uh, Otherwise, if you go to Fuel by Marika Day and you're listening to this after we have launched, then it will be all there ready for you to have a look through. Alrighty, so let's begin this episode a bit about the why behind um, developing this program. And this is going to take me back to a story that I've told before. So you might have heard it before, but it's one that really, I guess, kicked off my purpose and my passion in this career and in this industry. And that that story came on one of my first days working in private practice. So for those that don't know, I worked in hospitals for the first sort of six to, six to eight months of um, being a dietitian and then moved into private practice. Now on, I, I can't remember exactly, but I think it was, you know, my first week working as a dietitian in private practice, very confronting. <laughs> um, but one of the first clients that I had come through my doors was this beautiful young, she would have been 15 or 16 max. And she walked through my doors and she came in and sat down and I have this vivid memory of it happening. She sat down in front of me and I asked her how she was and, you know, what she was here for. And she pulled out her phone and showed me a picture of an incredibly popular uh, fitness influencer and said, I want to look like this. So can you please give me a diet that is going to help me look like this? And in that moment, my heart just like fell to the floor and broke into a million pieces because I knew in that moment that this girl and she sort of told me, you know, over the course of the next hour as well, that she was really willing to do whatever it takes, you know, sacrifice her health, sacrifice her school, sacrifice her life in order to look like somebody that she is not. And I just sort of then and there saw this problem where it was like, oh my God, is this going to be my career? Anyway, spoke with her for an hour uh, and then the next person who walked through my door was a, I'm going to say about a 60, 65 year old lady. And she walked in and sat down in front of me and again, vivid memory of exactly what she looks like. And she sat down and she was really flat and again, asked her how she was going and you know what she was here for. And she said to me that she'd been dieting since she was the age of 15 or 16 and She'd been yo-yoing, you know, throughout that time, she'd gained a lot of weight, um, you know, had lost some, but also regained more than she'd ever lost as well. And she was really unhappy with her body. She was really unhappy with the way that she was eating. She was really unhappy with pretty much every aspect of her health and well-being and her routine. And she wanted to go on another diet, but one that was going to work for the long haul this time. And I just again, heart fell to the floor. And 
after you know working with her for the hour I sort of sat back and reflected and thought this is fucked like <laughs> this is not right the, like I felt like I'd just seen this progression of people from the beginning to the, I mean, not the end, but, you know, the beginning to the end of this journey within the diet industry and within the weight loss industry. And it just broke me into pieces. I was like, I don't want to be contributing to this industry and I don't want to be contributing to the misery of these people. And I don't want to spend my career trying to like pull people out of you know, doing, you know, falling into these traps. And I thought there's got to be a better way that we can approach health and well-being and we can help people to feel more confident, to be healthier, to be happier and to not get in this cycle that just traps them for the majority of their life and ruins their life. I mean, obviously you can, you know, have careers and all of that sort of stuff as well as dieting, but the large majority of people that I've seen who've been trapped in these diet cycles spend a good portion of their energy for a good portion of their life focused on the way that they look. And for me, this was heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. I can't put any other word to it. So that is, I guess, where I started with the, um, with the why behind what I do. So not only just fueled, but the why behind everything that I have done to date because I want to do something different in this industry where we are actually helping and supporting people to be better, not just to look in a certain way. Now, that's not to say that, you know, if you have goals to lose weight or to gain weight or to, you know, change your body composition by gaining muscle mass or whatever it is, that's also fine. But let's, as a first and foremost, Let's care about you as an individual. Let's make sure that your mental health is prioritized. Let's make sure that you are actually healthy in the process and actually living your life. So that, I guess, is where my purpose came from and which has eventually led into the development of Fueled. Now, the reason why I actually decided to develop Fueled was because I was not really happy with any of the offerings that were out there at this point in time. So when I was sort of looking around, I was like, you know, where can I sort of direct people to engage with really healthy communities and to go to, to get, you know, recipes that are healthy and balanced and nutritious, but not sort of feeding them into this diet mentality. And I was really struggling to find anything that I was, I felt comfortable referring people to. So here we are. I decided to invest every single thing that I have into doing this. Um, so that is the story behind the development of Fueled. Um, there is a lot more to the story behind it. And we'll sort of go into that throughout this episode and also, you know, through socials and everything over the coming weeks and months as well. Um, but being the name Fueled, one of the core purposes of Fueled by Marika Day is helping you to fuel your body and fuel your mind and fuel your life. So it's really taking the um, focus away from restriction and focusing on yeah, fueling and adding to your life as opposed to removing from your life. Okay, so what actually is Fueled? So it is an online nutrition program that simplifies nutrition and again helps you to fuel your body. Now it is a web app so it is a application that you download from the internet as opposed from the app store. Um, again more about that in the behind the scenes episode in next week or the week after. Um, and I guess what it is is a program that helps you get to the root of what's going on when it comes to your health and nutrition. So again, one of the things that I have found through my eight years now, I think it is working as a dietitian is that we have a lot of band-aid approaches to helping people. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of approaches where we just slap on like a band-aid to try and fix a gaping wound. And an ana like that's an analogy, obviously. And what I mean by that is that so often I've found in my experience when it comes to nutrition and health and mental well-being, 
there is often a lot going on behind the scenes that are not being addressed. So an example might be somebody who had come in to see me for weight loss, but behind the scenes, you know, they're struggling with emotional eating because they are so stressed out of their mind. Or it might be that they have binge eating disorder or, you know, lots of these other things that are happening behind closed doors that I guess are presenting as health concerns. Uh, yet there is, yeah, as I said, a lot more going on behind the scenes. And what tends to happen when they enter into the industry is that we slap a diet on them. Um, and so, you know, it's things like, yeah, stress and burnout and, uh, even things like trauma where people have gained weight as a result of, you know, quite significant trauma are being told to fix the problem by counting calories or by eating less or by losing weight. And I guess one of the things that I really like to do when it comes to my approach to nutrition is to help you understand your journey, your experiences and what is behind all of the things that you do, because it is not as simple as just slapping a bandaid on there. There's things that you might have to address. There's people that you might need to see and speak to in order to really create this sustainable, healthy lifestyle. So it's really helping to help you identify some of the core issues that are behind many eating problems. Because as I've said before, is a lot of us know how to eat healthier, but the reason why we're not is often a lot more complex. Or it might be just that we're not in good habits and routines. And again, this is where Fueled helps you sort of have that accountability and community and structure to provide you with that as well. The other things that I found that were really lacking in other offerings in the market when I was sort of coming up with the vision and the idea for this was that really strong focus on body image and protecting your mental well-being. So what I'd heard from a lot of people who I'd been working with was that, you know, they'd been on programs and diets and all of those sorts of things before. And nine times out of 10, they come out of them mentally worse off or have worse body image than they do before. So what I wanted to create with Fueled is a program that doesn't fuck you up when it comes to your mental health, but not only doesn't fuck you up, it actually supports strengthening your mental well-being and your mental health. And it has a strong focus on building a positive body image as opposed to destroying your your body image. The other thing that is really different, I think, with Fueled compared to a lot of other, again, offerings on the market is that my purpose is about providing you with options and educating you in health and nutrition so that you have freedom to eat in a way that suits you and your lifestyle. Because without education and without knowing a bit more, I don't think that you need to know everything that a dietitian knows because God, you don't need to know the chemistry and the anatomy and the physiology and the biochem behind everything. But having some of those core principles behind you helps you then to have that freedom to make decisions for yourself and make informed decisions for yourself, hopefully from somebody that you trust in the industry, where you can then be flexible with your lifestyle, because ultimately your life is so different to somebody else's. So whether you have children, whether you've got multiple jobs, whether you're living in the country versus the city, you know, there's so many different things that are going to impact your day-to-day interactions, your routine, your lifestyle. And for me to sit there and go, oh, but this is the best approach. That is never like, I can't sit here and say that this is the way that you should address your health and well-being. So what Fueled is about is educating you on all of the ways that you can approach health and well-being and helping you find an approach that works for you, that fits in with your lifestyle rather than going, hey, here's the approach, try and squeeze yourself into it and make sure it fits because otherwise you're failing. That is not what we're about. Okay, so who is Fueled for? Now, I always call it Fueled, but technically the long name is Fueled by Marika Day, but it's obviously by me. So I'm just going to call it Fueled here on in. Um, So Fueled is for anyone who wants to live a healthier life and who wants to learn how to live a healthy life as well. So it's not for people who just want to be told you know, one size, one way, one direction to go. It's for people who really have that inquisitive nature of going, 
I, I do want to make decisions for myself and I do want to have that freedom there. Now it's for men and women. Um, my community is like 95% women. So there is obviously a lot of women that will be doing it, um, but men and non-binary as well. So anyone is welcome within the community. Um, there is though a strong focus on people who are looking to live a balanced life and balance is one of the keywords that you will hear me across the program say so many times because without balance, it's not healthy. And I strongly believe that that is true. Like if you cannot enjoy food, if you cannot enjoy life, if you cannot enjoy balance, then that is not a healthy life. So it is isn't for the person who wants to be so strictly disciplined that they don't, you know, have a bit of chocolate when they want it. Um, on the same sort of side there is it's not for the person who wants quick, fast weight loss. We're not a weight loss program. We are helping you to live a healthier and happier life. For some people, that might mean that they lose weight. For others, that might mean that they need to gain weight. For many, that might be staying the same weight. So it's not about weight. On that note, it is also for anyone, regardless of your shape, size, and color. You do not need to be healthy to begin the program. You do not need to be fit. Um, and on that note, there's no fitness within the program. You do not need to be a shape or size or health status already. It is about helping you where you are right now on your journey and meeting you there and guiding you through your next steps. The other thing I would say is who it's for is it's for people who are willing to take those steps and to discover, you know, what is the healthiest approach for them rather than just following something that's like disciplined and to the T being told what to do. We're not a regimented disciplined program like that. It is really flexible and open to fitting into your lifestyle and where you are on your health journey. And finally, it is for people who want to learn more about healthy eating, about healthy living, about mental health, about physical health, as opposed to people who just want to be given recipes and told to eat this then. Um, so yeah, very strong focus on education. Okay, so what is actually included in Fueled and what do you get when you sign up and when you're on the platform? So I want to explain this through our four core pillars. So the four pillars that we have that make up Fueled is food, hub, mind, and community. And there's another half one I'm going to add in there, which is tracking. Now, don't be scared of that word tracking because I'm going to change the way that you think about it very shortly. So firstly is the food. This obviously makes up a huge component of it because one, I am such a foodie and I love recipes and I love cooking. And in my second life, I'm a pastry chef. So um, there is a huge uh, element of food to it. Um, now with the recipes we have, we're launching with 200 recipes and new recipes added every single week, every single month. And within those recipes, so I've actually created those recipes myself. So they're dietitian created, meaning that I've made sure that they are balanced in terms of their nutritional content. So calories, um, protein, fats, carbs, uh, and made sure that in particular, our main meals are high in protein. Now, I think that this is really important, particularly as we have a, a very female predominant um, audience, is that the main meals actually have a significant amount of protein in them to keep you full and to help you meet your protein requirements. Um, this is also true for our vegan and vegetarian options as well. So this is something that is quite different to a lot of other uh, offerings out there. I've made sure that there is a minimum, like bare minimum of 15 grams of protein in every single meal, but most of them are well over 20 um, I'd say like 95% of them are well over 20 grams of protein per serve, regardless of whether they're vegan or vegetarian or a uh, meat-based meal. Um, with our recipes, they are categorized with allergen-friendly options. So we have um, filters where you can filter through for gluten-free, for dairy-free, egg-free, nut-free, low FODMAP, which is super exciting, um, as well as meals that are either quick to prepare. So less than 20 minutes, budget friendly, um, or meal prep friendly. So you can make them in bulk or the other one is freezer friendly. So you can freeze them. So they're really simple meals. They are meals that you can get the ingredients from, from your supermarket. You don't need to go to 
freaking 10 different health food stores to find fancy ingredients. Um, and they are absolutely for people who are new for cooking as well. There's um, a lot of really simple and quick recipes on there and a lot of like grab and go to kind of things as well. One thing that I really wanted to ensure is that for the snacks in particular, that we're actually including some like convenient snacks because I find so many of these sorts of like programs have all of these elaborate snacks, which is great because it's amazing to cook such, you know, delicious snacks from time to time. But for the everyday, you really want to be able to just have things like an apple or a protein bar or, you know, those sorts of things. So we've actually included them as options so that you can add them to your menu plan, which brings me to the next part, the menu planning. So within the app, you can build a weekly menu. So you'll see seven days in advance of menus, which you can create your own weekly menu by adding in the recipes and the snacks that you wish to have for the week. So you can completely design your own menu to follow for the week. You can add in leftovers, you can add in, you know, meals where you're eating out. So incredibly flexible. Now, the other thing that we do have is an option for you to follow a preset menu that we have created. So a dietitian um, created menu. We have three, actually more than, we have three options for this. So there's a vegan menu, a vegetarian menu, and a meat-based menu, which also has quite a lot of plant-based options on it too. So we're trying to encourage a bit of plant-based eating within the meat um, menu as well. Um, And then within each of those three menus, so the vegan, the vegetarian and the meat based one, we actually have three different uh, levels. So depending on your physical activity, it will increase the amount of food that you're getting. So when you sign up for the program, you'll fill out a little questionnaire and then that will help you um, to identify whether you want to create your own weekly menu, which I strongly recommend because I think it's really um, hard to and I don't recommend following something strictly that somebody else has created because it's not what is going to suit your lifestyle. And that's what obviously Fueled is about is working within your lifestyle. Um, However, in saying that, if you are following one of our weekly menus, you can change as much as you like. So you can swap out meals that you don't like. You can add in meals that you want. um, You can leave days blank, whatever you want to do uh, to make it flexible to you. So once you have created your weekly menu, and when I say weekly, it's seven days in advance that you can see. But as I said, if you only want to fill out three days in advance, then that's, you know, all you have to do. Again, flexible to what suits you and your shopping regularity. But what you can do once you've done that is you can actually add the ingredients from those recipes directly into an interactive shopping list. So it will add them all together for you um, and add them up so that then you have a really user-friendly shopping list to take to the grocery store to get everything for your week ahead. So within about 10 minutes, you can add all of your week's worth of meals and snacks to your menu and then add them to your shopping list and send them to your partner to go and do the shopping or, you know, screenshot it and take it to the shop so that you can go and do it there. So a real focus on, I guess, simplifying and speeding up the process of menu planning for your life and for your week. Now, one other further thing that I forgot to mention when it comes to our recipes is that I've given you the flexibility to be able to choose whether you want to see nutrition information from our recipes or you would like to hide that nutrition information. Now, the reason for this is, again, flexibility and fitting your lifestyle is my key. And what I recognize and from the people that I've worked with over the last eight years is that some people are very triggered by calories and macros and you know carbs and proteins and fats and that is completely understandable. I, I can I can so relate with that. And I know that it is so damaging for some people to be able to see that. So we have an option. And again, when you sign up, you'll select whether you want to see nutrition information or whether you don't. Um, and the reason why we've got that there is so that you can go, okay, I find looking at calories and carbs and proteins and fats and fiber helpful or I don't find it helpful. And that then leaves it up to you to make the best decision for you and for your mental well-being and for your physical well-being as well. Again, something that you can change whenever you feel like doing it throughout the the app. Um, But we've given you that option and 
the balls in your court for that. One more thing that I should add about our recipes and uh, menus and everything is that as a celiac, um, I'd say about 90 to 95% of our recipes are gluten-free or have a gluten-free option. And there are, I don't know off the top of my head how many vegan and vegetarian options, but there are so many vegan and vegetarian options. So I really wanted to make sure that when I launched this, that it was accessible to people who have all sorts of different diets and all sorts of different lifestyles. Alrighty, one down, three to go. The next pillar is the hub, and this is the home of learning on the app. So it is where you will get access to all of our mini courses as well as our Q&A. So two key components to the hub, mini courses and Q&As. The mini courses are series of videos that dive a bit deeper into topics in nutrition to help you live a healthier life and to help you understand you know the, the education behind nutrition so that you can have that freedom and flexibility to make your own informed decisions with the mini courses they are ever evolving so we are adding new mini courses on new topics every single month to launch, I think we've got eight mini courses. I believe I might have that wrong, but it's around six to eight mini courses. And they are on things like setting goals, understanding the basics of nutrition. So things like macronutrients and micronutrients, um, alcohol, bloating, uh, and a few others in there to launch. And as I said, we're adding new ones every single month. So some that we've got down the pipeline are things like mindful eating, things like plant-based eating, eating for PCOS and other conditions. So lots and lots of um, education that we're going to add into that. And essentially my goal is with this is that the longer you are on the platform, the more clued up and the more educated you become in nutrition to the point where you really do feel like that you are, I guess, an everyday expert in all things you and health and nutrition so that you can, as I said, make those decisions for yourself that are best for you and for your family. Speaking of families, I'm going to mention quickly the recipes I got my partner to test them all. So they are, as I'm going to say, fiance approved, um, boyfriend approved, male approved. Um, so for all the ladies out there who have fussy men in their household, um, I've definitely got mine to test all of the recipes as we've created them. So hopefully you have no issues with them eating them either. Back to those mini courses though, as I said, new mini courses coming every single month on topics that are most relevant to you and open, like always open to suggestions on what you guys would like mini courses to in future as well. So that's something that you can submit through our community, which we'll get to soon. So the next part of the hub is our Q and A's. So this is really similar to Instagram style Q and A, but obviously you have access to it 24 seven and they don't disappear like on Instagram. So this is where you'll get little snippets of answers to questions that you might've had when it comes to nutrition. And again, one of my goals with the hub is that it's like your evidence-based, um, trustworthy source of nutrition information. So Hopefully within time, you essentially can have every question that you've ever had about nutrition answered on this platform, whether it be in the Q&As, which are much shorter form. So they might be anything from 15 seconds to 60 seconds or in a longer form in the mini courses as well. Um, now with the Q and A's, that is something that is absolutely dynamic and I will be encouraging you to submit questions that you have as frequently as possible so that we can continue to upload new questions and create this incredible library um, of information there. Okay. So pillar three is the mind and one of my favorite pillars. I mean, they're all equally favorites, but I really like the mind because what I've tried to do with the mind uh, pillar is to create this home where you feel, I guess, a different feeling. When you click on that pillar in the app, you get this sense of calm and you get this sense of safety and security. And I think that when it comes to health and nutrition, that that is something that we all need, myself included, is to balance this like learning and this drive and this um, wanting to do more and be more with this calm and stillness and support and connection and so that's what 
the mind pillar is all about. And what we have within the mind pillar is uh, journal prompts. So there is um, the, the page will lead with a journal prompt, which will change um, every day or every week. I'm not quite sure on that one, but it will change very regularly. And um, what it will then also have is meditations. Now, these meditations, they have been created by one of my favorite meditation teachers, who is Rachel Cable. Um, but also I have created some meditations myself. Now, the thing that's different with these meditations is that as somebody who is, I'm going to say relatively new to meditation, I mean, I've been doing it for quite a few years, but I still wouldn't say I'm good at it. Um, the thing that I really wanted to create was this sense of feeling that you're understood in your meditations, that you're feeling supported and you're feeling like when you're listening to the meditation, that you're feeling that somebody is sitting there almost confirming how you're feeling and helping you to regulate how you're feeling. So the meditations are really specific to certain things. So for example, we have meditations on common things that I see within my community and within myself as well. So things like perfectionism, things like anxiety, um, unwinding after a stressful day or waking up in the morning to have a like clear and productive day or um, body image and body acceptance meditations, digestive meditation. So really specific to the things that I guess both myself and my community have struggled with so that we can almost target the areas of the like target the areas of struggle essentially and help you to change your internal dialogue and internal narrative. So I almost say that some of them are not necessarily meditations as much as they are almost like helping you to have a positive voice or a comforting voice within your ears to change the dialogue that might be going on that's maybe not so supportive that you might have all of the time. Um, so really like positive psychology going on there. And again, like the hub, this is somewhere where we're adding new meditations all of the time every month so that you have an endless amount of content to be able to go on there and go, you know what, I'm feeling stressed. I want to listen to that meditation or I'm feeling really tight in my chest. I want to listen to the chest tightness or I've had a really good day. I want to listen to this meditation. So whatever you're feeling, there is going to be a meditation that is to your needs. Alrighty. And the final pillar is our community, which is an online community, which you have access to 24 seven. And for me, the purpose of having a community within the program is to have a place where you can feel supported and feel that you are connecting with like-minded individuals and people who are on the same journey as you. One thing that I've learned from my journey and from the journey of all of the thousands of people that I've worked with is that it can feel really isolating to work on yourself and in particular not do like to do it differently like we're doing with fueled so if you're not you know engaging in restrictive diets and you're not engaging in all of the bullshit that is in the within the industry it can feel pretty isolating and so knowing that you've got a community of people around you who can you know high five you on your highs and to support you through your lows is something that is so important to me because i think having a place of belonging is such an integral place like in such an integral component of health and well-being and we have some really cool things planned for the community down the track so um, yeah, once you sign up, you'll be able to follow the link and jump into the online community and you'll hear about all of the cool stuff. Um, and that will also be the place where I'll be in each day sort of helping out. And that is where you'll ask, you know, questions that you will have that you want, you know, new courses added or new questions added, you know, suggestions that you might have for meditations that you want to listen to. Um, all of that sort of stuff can go within the community. All right. And finally, as I said, it's not a pillar, but I guess it's a component of the app is a tracking component. Now, for me, tracking comes with a really negative connotation, both personally and professionally for a lot of people that I've worked with. And I don't think that it has to. I think tracking progress is something that if we have goals that we want to achieve and by goals, I don't mean necessarily weight loss goals. I think in this industry, when we talk about goals, everyone just thinks that 
it's weight loss and that's not the case. If you have goals to be healthier, if you have goals to gain weight, if you have goals to um, improve your mental well-being, you know, whatever it is, tracking that progress helps you to see how far you've come and also to see, you know, what struggles you are facing along the journey and where you can sort of intervene and try new strategies. So with the tracking, instead of, you know, tracking calories and those sorts of things, which if that's what you want to do, then you can go ahead and do that. As I said, we've got an option to see calories. But for me, the tracking component in Fueled is about tracking the things that are making a significant difference in your daily health and well-being in terms of how you are feeling. So the things that we're tracking on there, which you can track every single day and see your progress over time using graphs, is your mood, your stress levels, your sleep, your energy levels, and also your water and a little um, a little question around how you're fueling your body as well. So you're able to track all those on a daily basis and actually look at your progress over time. The really cool thing is that you're able to then see, you know, when you're stressed, is it impacting your mood and is it impacting your sleep and is it impacting the way that you're eating? Or if your stress is improving, are you then improving in other areas? So you can sort of really get some good data around that if you're a bit of a data geek in that one. So I think that just about covers um, a lot of the the content that's within the app. As I said, there is a lot more that is going to be coming over the coming weeks and months. This is obviously just the beginning and there is so much more that I wish that we could have launched with, which will eventually come, um, but we had to launch at some time with something. So this is where we are for launch. And I am just so happy with, I guess, where it's come from and what it's what it's looking like and the impact that it's going to have, I really, I really believe is going to be phenomenal. I think that it's so different from anything out there in the sense that it has this focus on really caring about your health and well-being as opposed to just trying to make you look a different way, um, which I believe is so damaging just to try and make you look a different way without caring about your health and well-being. Now, some admin questions that have come through, which I've kind of touched on, but I just want to clarify is that, as I've said, it's a web app, which means that it's not available through the app store. It's something that you'll go through our website and you'll download and save to your phone from that method. Um, again, I'll go through the reasons why in the behind the scenes episode. Um, and the other thing is that it is a membership based uh membership based platform. So there will be options for three month, six month and 12 month memberships. And we have a very, very, very cool launch um, offering available, which will be available for the first month that we are live. And it is just going to be the best deal, the best value you will ever get for something like this. Um, And it is a foundation membership offering. So it will be something that means that you will stay at that set price for the life of your membership. So as long as you're a member, you'll still get that heavily discounted price. Anyway, that is all for this episode. Thank you so much for sticking around and listening to everything that is fueled. Um, if you want to find out more, head to fueledbymarikaday.com. So that's fueled, F-U-E-L-L-E-D, bymarikaday.com. And you'll be able to see all of the information there. And if you've got any questions, um, feel free to pop a message um, onto our Instagram or just through our emails, which you can access through the contact page on the Fueled by Marika Day website. Have a wonderful week ahead. I will be speaking with you soon and I can't wait to do the behind the scenes episode with you guys next week. 